So the Crown Prince squash, as mentioned in our quick guide to squash video, is probably, well I'm not going to say the most superior because all squash are delicious, but it's maybe my favourite squash. It's got sort of a deep nutty taste. The ratio of flesh to the, the cavity in the middle is really good so you get a lot of sort of squash for your buck. They are really hard to cut but I'll show you an easy way of doing it which lends itself really well to the recipe I'm going to show you today. So we're going to cut it into steaks and then we're going to griddle it off to get that nice sort of smoky flavour imparted into it. Then we're going to finish it in the oven with a spice rub and then serve it on top of a warm hummus. To cut these open is not the easiest thing in the world because the skin is really, really tough and the stalk itself is, well, it's, it's kind of like wood really. So you don't want to waste your time, your effort and your strength and blunting your knife trying to cut through that. So what you want to do is get your knife sharp, big, as heavy as possible, stick it next to the thing, pointing down, make sure you're holding the squash and that it's not going to wobble around. Make sure your hand is on the back of the knife, not on the front of the knife, because as you push down, you do not want to be pushing your knife into your hand. So then give it some welly all the way down and then cut it like so. And then to do the segments, do that again. And easy as that, you get a lovely section of squash ready to go. If you want to sort of just roast off chunks of squash uh, and to pit through curries or something like that, you don't want the skin. So first of all, chunk them. And then from here, it's really easy just to cut off the skin. You don't want to be trying to peel the whole squash because you'll just blunt every peel you've got. So once you've got your steaks, as I said, we're going to griddle them. So get your griddle pan, get it on the stove. And as I've said, numerous videos, you need to get your pan really nice and hot. Whilst we're waiting for the pan to heat up, we're going to make a quick spice mix. I've got some paprika, I've got some ground fennel seeds, and I've got some toasted cumin seeds. Now I'm leaving them whole because I like a little bit of crunch when I bite into them and I like that sort of burst of cumin flavour. Get them in a roasting tin, add a bit of olive oil, and what we're going to do is once uh, we've charred off the squash, we're going to transfer them to the roasting tin and then finish them off in the oven to make sure they're nice and soft and well cooked all the way through. Get your squash and get them on the pan. Make sure that they're nice and flat on the pan and just let them do the thing. Don't move them because we want the nice char lines. We really want the char to impact that smoky flavour throughout the sort of piece. If we move it around too much, we're just going to get these superficial char lines which are not really going to do much for the flavour. After four to five minutes, give them a turn and you should see, yep, yeah, beautiful, lovely char lines and you want the same on the other side, so just carefully place them down. Use tongs or just your fingers, but be very careful because they are hot, and just get them charring on the other side. So once they're charred on both sides, we need to get them into our spice mix, so the olive oil and the spices in the pan. The reason why we're doing this now is if we put this on before, we put it on the griddle pan, we'll just burn the spices and get a really sort of bitter, horrible taste. So it's much better to add it just before you put it in the oven. So you want to coat each side nicely, like so. So these have been in the oven for about 20 minutes at 180 degrees. Now how long it takes to cook were dependent on the size of squash that you cut. You know they're cooked when you can push a fork all the way through and it'll be lovely and soft. Whilst they're in the oven, I made a really quick warm hummus. And what that is is chickpeas, tahini, lemon juice, some paprika, some cumin, and I blitzed through some chard as well to give it a nice green colour. I really like serving hummus warm. I think it brings that extra sort of dimension to it. And especially if you're having it as a lunch, especially in the colder months, it's a really nice comforting sort of texture and flavour. So whack it on the plate and then just use that as a base. Then oh, oh, balance your nice looking pieces of squash upon. It's a really pretty plate of food. I think you've got the green hummus, you've got the deep orange, you've got the char marks on it. It makes a great light sort of autumnal lunch. Smother the squash in the hummus and just eat around the skin. So I really hope you enjoyed that. If there's any other vegetable you'd like to see us talk about, cook or prepare, then write a comment, let us know. Hit the notification bell and stay tuned for more weekly videos.